Christmas wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, we're gonna to be doing a monthly favorites video. That's right, I thought I would do one of these before the year came to a close. I've got some really nice bits and pieces to show you today. And some of them I think you're gonna be really excited about. So if you wanna know what they are, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go because seriously, I've got some really cool things to show you. Ooh. Okay then, so I'm actually going to kick this off with my Wizarding World favourites because I've got some really, really special pieces this month to show you and ooh, I'm not sure which one to start with. Okay, I think I'm actually going to start with this chocolate frog festive jumper. I love this so much. Now, this was gifted to me by my friend, Mr. Malkin. You can find him on Instagram. I'll leave his link down below. But he designed a very limited run of these chocolate frog sweaters and I just think they're lovely. I love that there's candles and snowflakes and kind of chocolate frog shaped packaging shapes there and you've got the chocolate frog in the middle. Ah, oh, I just love it. It's a beautiful kind of plum purple shade and then it's got this gold color as well these are really really lovely and you can get these from his etsy i believe they are still available so definitely check the link down below but i thought i'd show you this because what a beautiful thing to wear over the festive season i was absolutely thrilled when this turned up via the owl post and yeah i just really love it and it's definitely going to be one of my favorite jumpers that i'm probably gonna end up wearing year after year after year just because it's so awesome. I really, really like it. I think that's stars. Very, very cute. What do you guys think? I've actually just noticed I've got quite a lot of wearables that I'm gonna be showing you today. And let's kick it off next with some really beautiful, magical t-shirts. And again, these were gifted to me just to be fully transparent with you guys. This is one of them that I'm wearing today and it says anything, oh, I've got a bit of fluff on me don't mind me. It says anything off the trolley and it's in this beautiful mint colour with pink. This is actually one of my favourite ever colours so just had to have it. Now these are by a company called Seeker and Slade and they're a company that I recently kind of discovered and I love their stuff and they kindly reached out to me saying, do you want some? And obviously I was, I was just like, Bleh, like that, speechless. <laughs> I was so up for it. I was like, you know what? Yes, please send them. I'd love to wear them in videos. And they're something that I would buy with my own galleons. So this one, we've already shown you. This one, I believe, a war already, you would have seen this in a video already. This is the Troublemaker t-shirt. Sorry, they're a bit creased, I've washed them. <laughs> this is obviously representing both of the Weasley brothers and it's got the W in purple and orange to represent Fred and George. And look at this lovely lilac color. I just love pastels, I love magic, I love Harry Potter. Mm, I just really think they're fabulous. And the third and final design that they were very kind and sent to me, which I am, again, obsessed with. <gasps> Look! Okay, so this is a Nimbus. I was about to say Nimbus 2000, but it doesn't say Nimbus 2000. It just says Nimbus Racing Broom Company. So yeah, this is in a nice kind of beige color, but I just thought, you know what? There's not many companies that do magical t-shirts and magical kind of wares that I really, really, really dig. But these guys and Seeker and Slade, like they're just nailing it and I love all of their stuff. So if you would like to go check them out, again, the link will be down below, but I thought you guys would be interested in them, so. Now, I do have one more item of clothing left, so I am gonna get that out of the way so that all the clothing pieces were together. The next piece that I wanna show you is something pretty darn special, and it is an exclusive to Wizarding World Gold members. That's right, you can only buy this if you are a member, and as soon as I saw it, I pre-ordered it, and they've sold out now but hopefully they will be returning. I will leave the link down below. So here it is. It may look like just a, an ordinary black sweater, but you'd be wrong. Here there is a flying key, which is beautifully embroidered. That's right, this is a black 
hoodie. There you go, it says Wizarding World Harry Potter in the label. But yes, we do in fact have this beautiful flying key. As soon as I saw this range, I was just like, it's been made for me. This smells delicious. <sighs> I washed it <laughs> and it smells so good. But yeah, so this is it. I did pre-ordered it. It arrived a few days ago, probably over a week ago when you're watching this. But yeah, beautifully embroidered. Now, there's something even more magical about this hoodie, that's right. When you unzip, you will find on the left hand side a mysterious pocket. That's right, you can't see it, it's all black, but let me get my wand, which is also black. This has a wand pocket built inside of this hoodie, which is Amazing, that was one of the main things that sold it for me. I love black hoodies and I love Harry Potter ones. The one that I wear most of the time is my Harry Potter Philosopher's Stone in concert hoodie. I have pretty much worn that out now, so I thought it was time to invest in another magical black hoodie. And this one, flying keys in a wand pocket. Hello, I couldn't just not order that. So how much was this? Um, so it does have two prices on their website, which is confusing because it's got a gold price and then a normal price, but you can only get it if you're a gold member. It's very confusing. But anyway, this was £27 and four pence, which to be fair, not mad about. It, it's a really nice quality hoodie and it's very warm and snuggly and I get to carry my wands around with me on a regular basis. So I'm very pleased. <laughs> The next two items are two very special pieces which are new to my collection because they are made by some of my lovely friends. That's right, I've made some very talented friends in this community, like the talent that is in our wizarding world is just mind-blowing. So the first thing that I want to show you is again made by Mr. Malkin. Now this was a huge surprise to me. You may have seen this. This isn't necessarily a December favourite to be fair but it's the first chance that I've got to show you guys. In the summer I went to the Warner Brothers studio tour with my very good friend Brizzy and Tessa and Vegard. It was lovely but Brizzy had this beautiful plush toy of a hippogriff and I was just like I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. She let me hold it in some photographs. I was just like, oh, it's beautiful. So obviously I complimented Mr. Malkin of his beautiful work and he offered to make me one. And <laughs> so here we have this beautifully handmade hippogriff, which obviously I'm gonna call Buckbeak because hello. But here it is. And what's really sweet is if you're at the studio tour at all, there is a section in the main part of the tour once you pass the Great Hall and you've, it's kind of gated. It's got kind of like this fence around it and it's got loads of knickknacks from the archive in the middle. If you look very carefully, I think it's the side where the golden egg and the remember all and that kind of thing, it's in a cabinet. If you look behind it, I don't know if it's still there. They do move stuff quite often, but they had their very own version of this, which was was in the tour and there's also a photograph on one of the walls of a design of this and it's just uncanny it's beautifully it's beautifully made and Mr Malkin if you're watching thank you for making this and putting your time into it because it honestly is one of my most treasured items it now lives in my glass cabinet that's how much I love it because I don't want it destroyed or the cat attacking it so yes this is my very own little plushy hippogriff now you can still get these I believe they might be custom order but I'll leave the link down below I think they're lovely I think it's just a very lovely thing ah oh, talented pals okay speaking of talented pals I have shown this on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, make sure that you give me a little cheeky follow. We've got a nice community over there. This is made by my good friend, Brian. I feel as though I have used this in videos before. It is this wand, but I wanted to show you it in a little bit more detail. So this was made by my friend Brian in America. He is a wand maker, probably the finest wand maker of our time. That's right. Look at the handle. It's this beautiful kind of marbly. It's not marble, but it, it's, it catches the light. It's very, very beautiful. I have shown you this briefly in my Wizarding World Gold vlog. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It was a great night. But it's got this beautiful metal end, which is stunning. And it's got this really delicate metal ring here as well. Well, and then it's a dark wood as well. Now, he not only made me this wand, he also made me a wand box, which is personalized. And I won't lie, it made me cry when I opened it. I knew he was making me a wand, but 
the fact that he made me a box. So it says cherry. These details are metal. And when you open it, this is what made me cry. In fact, let me just put this back in. So when I opened it, it was the wand. And this is like velvet. He's made like a velvet wand base and he's made that sure the wand fits inside of it. But he was very sweet. I feel as though I've told this before. I've probably just told it on my Instagram, but I'm gonna tell you again anyway. So it says Brown and Lobin. Now, I made friends with Brian this year and one of the months that we were talking a lot, I had a bad month. October wasn't a good month for me. It was probably the worst month of the year. So when I opened this and saw A, what he'd called my wand, it's called Phoenix <laughs> and it's got a Phoenix core. <laughs> the quote is one that Brian wrote himself, which says, from the ashes, she will rise again, better and brighter than ever before. Oh, <sighs> need to not be emotional in this video. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was just so thoughtful because I always say when I'm in times of kind of sadness or times of just bad times, I always say that I'm a phoenix and I'm gonna rise again because that's just what I do. That's how I conquer life. You know, we, we all have bad times that we don't enjoy or it's getting us down and life can't be happy all of the time. But I always say that, you know, I'm like a phoenix when I'm in that little pile of ash. I will rise again. So the fact that he, like I did mention this to him when I was having a bad month and he named it Phoenix. The fact that he named it Phoenix and had that quote, it just killed me. And it's the most thoughtful and most beautiful gift that I could have asked for. It's absolutely stunning. And I'll treasure it forever because it's my very own and first custom wand. Yeah, it's, it's really, really special. It does feel like this came straight from Mr. Ollivanders. Now, if you are interested in getting your very own custom wand, I think orders are closed for now, but they will be opening again in 2020. I think that's right. Brian, if you're around, leave a comment, let people know down below. But yes, he makes custom ones and it's such an experience. He will send you a wand application to help get kind of information about what your wand should be like and what characteristic your wand should be and the kind of aesthetics you like. It feels really magical to be doing a wand application. Like, that's some kind of diagonally stuff right there. <laughs> so yes, that is my very special wand, which was made by my very special friend, Brian. Wonderful, I'd, lo I'd love to make a wand with him sometime. Um, maybe we could make a video sometime of how to make your own wand, I don't know. But either way, I hope you enjoyed that and the story behind it. Let's move on, because I've got some really cool, awesome other things to show you. My last and final Wizarding World favorite, it's a good one. Now, it is a bag. Can you maybe guess which bag it is? Maybe you can. It is a brand new release to the Wizarding World and it is a beautiful replica. And I did show it in my gift guide, but it's so beautiful, I had to show it twice. That's right, this is Hermione's bag. I've actually got it out of the box now so that I can show you in a little bit more detail. This is stunning. Look at these beads on the bottom. They are so pretty. They're like rainbow, oil slick and this really does feel like Hermione's bag. And you know what? I do want to display this, but another part of me really, really wants to use it. And I'll tell you why. It's not just a replica. It's very, very practical because the bag does in fact open real wide. Let me tell you, no wonder Hermione could fit so much in this bag. So yeah, I am actually planning on using this bag for a few things because it's just practical and all you have to do is pull on the drawstrings and it's shut and beautiful again. But yes, these do act as handles and I guess you could kind of wear it over the shoulder. It's the perfect length to use in real life. I'm sure it's not designed to use and it's a replica, but hey, it works. It's pretty. I want to look magical and cool. It's really nicely stitched, guys. If you haven't seen this in person, maybe go check it out at the Noble Collection Store in London. I'm sure they will maybe have one out on display for you guys. If they don't, they should, because this is so cool. Uh, so it's kind of velvety and it's just, it just looks identical to the one in the film. I love it. It's giving me a lot of happiness. And I was so excited when I got it for the first time. So these are still available. You can get your very own Hermione's bag. They relaunched these as they did used to make these but then they discontinued them yeah Hermione's bag it's a big bag and it's cute can't wait to fill it with magical goodies might put a tent in it <laughs> okay then guys now the next few things that I'm going to show you are beauty related I've actually only got two beauty related things to show you this month and 
they're pretty special. So the first thing I feel like everyone's been talking about this, it is the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collaboration, which is of course the Conspiracy palette. I have had this for a few weeks now. I've had it for a while and I have been using it and I didn't really want to talk about it until I'd used it. I will say I haven't used every shade in here yet, but the shades that I have been thoroughly enjoying, which surprised me to be honest, because I am one of these people that go for the kind of brighter shades. In fact, I'm wearing some of these shades today I'm using What's the Tea and also Pigment. So I've got those two on today because I thought they matched this top quite nicely. So yes, the two shades that I've been using the most out of these are Tanacon and Diet Root Beer. These two natural shades right here because they are the perfect nudes to get the perfect quick kind of natural eyeshadow and honestly so fast but looks so great those two are fantastic i've also been enjoying a little bit of diet cola i'm not gonna lie these are great they're the same consistency and what do you call it uh the same recipe as Jeffree's own eyeshadows, so you know they're gonna be good. I've been a fan of Jeffree's for a very long time and his makeup. Yeah, they're real pigmented and stunning. Love, love, love. And I do have the mini controversy as well. Not use that just yet. Okay, so one palette. It's not enough to show you today. Now, this is like the finale of beauty and I'm so glad that I'm showing you this is the final beauty product of 2019. I know I don't show too much beauty on my channel anymore, but this I've wanted to talk about for so long, for so long. A lot of you guys recently have noticed my makeup. I'm not wearing it today, but a lot of my eyeshadow looks I've been doing over the last two months, you guys have been noticing and being like, whoa, what is that eyeshadow? Well, I'm about to tell you because this is perhaps my favorite palette in my entire collection. This girl has a lot of makeup, trust. <laughs> it takes a lot to do this to this face. This is, I was speechless when I received it. I had been following this account on Instagram for a long time because it just looks so magical. Now, I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong, but the way it's spelt, I wanna say that it's pronounced Cleonad Cosmetics. Um, <laughs> I'll leave the link down below. I'm so sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Now, this is a, I think they're called Z palettes where they're like magnetized and you can add your own shades. Oh my God. I, I have briefly showed you this in my Wizarding World Gold video, but look, the colors change and oh, I've never been so satisfied by eyeshadows before because these are so magical. I want to wear them all the time. So this color here goes from pink to kind of yellow. I don't know if that's gonna pick up, but it does. And this one over here goes from purple to green. You know what? I'm gonna swatch one for you. I'm gonna swatch this green. Hello. Oh, oh, <laughs> see? Oh my God, it's just stunning. Like you barely have to touch it and it does. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna regret doing this because I don't have any makeup wipes. Um, Oh my God, just look at it. Look at that. It's like pur purple and green, purple and green. The color shifts in these colors are just mind blowing. I mean, just look at those. It's crazy. Now you can buy these shades individually on their website, link down below. I want them all. I want every single one of them because they're stunning and they've got multiple uses. I've been doing some killer highlighting with these four shades at the bottom because, hang on, I don't want to press it too hard because look at this, look at this. Like this is one that I've been using as highlight because it's just, oh, the this isn't doing it justice, but I promise you, it, they're all very beautiful. I'm a mess right now. <laughs> Ooh, I need to not touch things with, okay. I'm just gonna stay swatched for the entire video. It's fine. So yes, I 100% recommend these eyeshadows because I'm gonna say it, it's my favorite beauty product of the year of 2019. It's just, they fill me with so much happiness. I cannot explain and I cannot wait to get more in the future. I think one of the most special things about these shadows for me is they reignited the fire within me to want to play with makeup. Now, I do a lot of makeup for filming and I, I can, it does feel like a job sometimes getting ready, doing my face, but 
as soon as these arrived, I was excited. I was like, yes, yeah, sit me down in that makeup chair. Let me play with these. They're just as beautiful, if not more beautiful in person. I recommend them. Definitely go check them out. Go and have a look at their Instagram and you'll see how insane they look because that's how I at first discovered them. Okay, I'm gonna stop waffling now because there's nothing left to say. Best eyeshadows, maybe even ever. They're well good, right. The next two items are my miscellaneous items because they're so random. And <laughs> I debated showing you this, but this is my little butt nut. <laughs> this is a tiny little acorn figurine which is so cute. They're handmade. I found this at Punny Dukes, which is a magical, whimsical shop filled with wonderful things. So they recently expanded and they've taken on new artists and small businesses that sell really cool things. And there's this person called Rach Makes that makes these tiny little acorn things. And I looked at it and thought, that's so cute. <laughs> it's the cutest little thing. And it just, you know when you pick something up or you just see something that brings you that little bit of happiness to your day that you weren't quite expecting? This is that thing. And the funniest thing and the cutest thing about it is if I turn him around, he's got the world's tiniest little butt. So that is why I call him butt nut. Or nut butt. Butt nut, yeah. So yeah, it's my little icon. Uh, I like to hide him around my shelves sometimes, so maybe keep an eye out in the future. See if you can spot Little Butt Nut in my videos because he's too cute not to play with. He's so adorable and it's beautifully handmade. So yeah, I will I will link the Instagram uh, to the maker, the artiste that created this down below. I'll link everything down below, don't you worry. But yeah, Little Butt Nut told you it was random, wasn't lying. My final thing in my miscellaneous section, whew, see, look, I'm getting very distracted by that shiny, shiny eyeshadow because it's so good. Okay, I treated myself. I do this every year and I'm very fortunate that I'm in a position to do so. I like to treat myself towards the end of the year because I do work hard and this year specifically, I worked real hard. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but Many videos have appeared on this channel, nearly 100. I treated myself and I've wanted these for months. Finally did it, finally did it, finally bit the bullet. I treated myself to AirPod Pros. So I got, ooh, it just went doo -doo when I put it in my ear. Yeah, I bought these because I want to start getting out the house more but I also don't want to socialize with people whilst I'm out the house. I want to do my walking and I just wanted something as a little treat. Well, it's quite a big treat, let's not lie. It's a big treat. I like wearing these, I have been using them. I've been using them around the house whilst I've been cleaning. I'm thrilled with them, they're just how I wanted. Something I was, was really shocked about was the noise cancellation. When you have these in your ears, there is a mode called noise cancelling. When I first tried it in front of cameraman Chris, it was on the noise cancelling setting he started talking and it was literally like he was going and I was just like, are you trolling me? Like you're not actually talking right now. He was. Um, these are great and also wireless charging. Yeah, so these charge in their little case. I'm sure you all know what AirPods are. They're by Apple and yeah, I just wanted to treat myself. Um, but I've been really, really enjoying them and I've been going to grab them. They did take a little while for my ears to get used to them. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. I think 2020, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. I like to listen to podcasts, I like to listen to music. And I just wanna start moving more because I don't move enough. This year I've definitely not moved enough. So yeah, I wanna get moving and I'm gonna take my AirPod Pros with me. Okay, let's move on because, oh God. I've got some shows to talk about. That's right, I have got some Netflix favorites. I've actually got three. That's right. Now, I think I'm gonna start with perhaps my favorite series that I've watched all year. And that's saying a lot because this girl watches a lot of series when I get the time. It's called Virgin River. And I wasn't sure what I was getting into when I first watched it. I was just like, oh, I need a new show to watch. Let's see what this is about. It's so romantic. It's like this romance and a small town kind of drama. And it's really cool. It's about this girl who is, well, a woman who is a nurse and she is fleeing from her past life to this small little town called Virgin River. She falls in love and I'm not going to say anything else because you need to watch it. There is a season two that has already been confirmed. I'm really looking forward to it. The actors and actresses are beautiful and just... <sighs> 
they see the shots as well in Virgin River where it's literally like a drone shot and it's showing you this beautiful river and landscape. And the first time I saw it, I just felt instantly calm. And I was like, you know what? I need some calm and chill in my life. So yeah, I watched it, I binged it, I watched it in three days, it was great. Definitely go watch it. I give it an 11 out of 10. Now, two more shows. They're actually films, the next two, that I'm gonna recommend. One is called Midnight Sun. Again, watch this on a whim. It was being recommended to me on Netflix because Netflix knows me very well. This is about someone who has this rare skin, no, I think it's, a, it's not a skin condition. I think it's a disease where she cannot go into sunlight ever. She falls in love. There's a theme here. I really like watching romance. <laughs> I'm so lonely. So she falls in love with someone and I'm not gonna spoil it, but she's not allowed outside unless it's dark. So she's kind of nocturnal. It's just very good. Go watch it. I recommend it to everyone. I know it's really hard to recommend things without spoilers, but just take my word for it. You will enjoy, I think. Now, the final movie recommendation. Oh, I was in floods of tears, floods of tears. It was one of those, again, romance, but also really sad. It is about a girl who has cystic fibrosis, which is a lung disease and it's, it's pretty bad. But yeah, it's about her story and she is a vlogger as well. When I first started watching this, this did touch home a little bit because there was a YouTuber who vlogged her journey with cystic fibrosis, la la la, words. I'll link her channel down below. Sadly, she's not with us anymore. So yeah, she falls in love and she has, it's called Five Feet Apart. I think I've already said that, I'm waffling, I'm sorry. But she has to stay five feet apart from anyone else that has cystic fibrosis. So as they call it CFers. She has to stay five feet away from them, but she falls in love with one and it gets a little bit complicated, but get your tissues ready if you want a tearjerker. Five Feet Apart is the one to watch. I loved it, I really enjoyed it, and I learned a lot. So yeah, go watch, enjoy. That's a sad one to end on. Uh, let me come up with another random favorite because I don't want to end on a sad one. I'm gonna pick you as my favorite. My favorite of the month, of the year, of my life. You as my audience and my magical online family. You are a big favorite and thank you so much for all of your love and support this year. I am gonna do a roundup video. In fact, I've already filmed it. It's a mess. I cried a lot. I'm sorry. Look out for that. Um, but yeah, you guys are a favourite for sure. Your support this year has been incredible and um, I love you very much. I hope you all have a lovely Christmas or have had a lovely Christmas, depending when I upload this. Yeah, and I wish you a wonderful 2020. Okay, those are all my favourites. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go get this, um, oh no, I'm making a mess. I'm gonna go get this off, off my arm. Oh, so satisfying. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a magical thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. I am taking a little break. After the new year, I'm having another week off. So see you when I see you.